Where were you born and where are you from? Well, my name is Ray McLaughlin, and uh, I was born in Newark, though we lived in Union. Uh, I spent the first seven years in Union, and then my uh, parents moved to Florham Park. Uh, there were uh, six of us children, mother and father, grandfather, and we were all lived in a house that he built to retire in. Um, we had no electricity. Uh, we had no running water. Uh, we had no lighting of any type. There was a uh, radio that operated off of batteries now and then. Um, but uh, we went through grammar school. My older brothers and sisters went through high school, and so did I, without the use of electricity. And we uh, studied by either candlelight or kerosene lamp, uh, mostly being kerosene lamp. Our uh, heat was all through split wood and coal, and most of the cooking was done on a uh, kerosene stove. So a lot of the baking was done on a uh, wood coal stove. Um, as far as I know, we were about the only ones at that time that didn't have electricity. We were sort of a bit out of the way. We lived back about two miles on a dirt road, and the uh, we weren't too far from the uh, the Saint River, uh, and there were one or two other people living back there. There was no children, but uh, none of them had electricity. It was uh, I'm trying to think of when we got electricity. It was in the early fifties. Had to be in the early fifties when we got electricity. And uh, I think the total charge for installing the electricity was $35 at that time. Uh, but uh, when we didn't have it, of course, then we had to haul the water up from the spring. Uh, grandfather had a thousand chickens, had a hand pump that water to them every day. And that could be a problem in the winter when everything froze up. But uh, we did get electricity. And it was a, a great thing for us. Uh, and then uh, after we got electricity, we found that everybody has a TV, but we didn't have one. So it took us about 10 years to get a TV. And I can't say I really missed it, but uh, it was just funny that everyone seemed to have a TV and we didn't. Because we were used to waiting, so it wasn't a problem. Uh, would you care me to on any further than that, or what? Uh, I have some questions. OK. Uh, yeah, you answered most of them. Uh, did you have any tools with, for the electricity? Like chainsaw? Yeah, we did. We cut our wood with a two-man saw or a one-man saw. Um, and that's a lot of wood. We used to cut like 10 cord of wood a year. Of course, you had to cut it early in the year, so it would stack it and dry it out, and then you'd uh, cut it up and stack it up in a pile. And uh, as far as other tools, really no power tools, because we had no power, so there was no use to have power tools. The only real source of power we had was an old Model T Ford that they took the back wheel off of and hooked the belt up to that. And that could drive some tools uh, that needed to be spun, not necessarily by electricity, but by some source of power. Uh, do a lot of people where you lived have it? There was no one within a two mile radius, two, three mile radius that had electricity, but there was only two or three families, and they had no children. They were basically older people. Farmers. Uh, how many light bulbs did you have and were they any good? Well, the original setup, as I recall, had four light bulbs. One in the kitchen for mom, for her cooking. 
then we all ate in the kitchen. We needed that there. There was one in Mom and Dad's uh, bedroom, uh, one in the living room, and uh, one downstairs. Now these were bare bulbs, 60 watt bulbs, nothing bigger. Uh, and the uh, one downstairs was down there because that's where our bathroom facilities were, down in the cellar. But uh, that was also where the shortwave radio was kept. And uh, that's where Grandpa and my father and what have you, you know, I think you're right. We used to hump over the ra radio and uh, listen to the uh, Second World War, what went on down there. But the lights were bad. They, were, they weren't that good. They weren't that favorable. Uh, and so we still used the kerosene lamps uh, for quite a bit of reading and what have you. And of course, it'd be a lights out at about 8 o'clock, and the lights would all go out. You couldn't have electric burning that hour of night. So again, we were back to kerosene. I would like to make a correction, though. I think the year I said that we got electricity is incorrect. I think we got electricity in the late 40s, probably 48, 49. Okay, anything else? What happened after you got the electricity? What happened? Did you... <sighs> well, we got electricity, of course, after uh, it was like uh, a big party, something new, something great, and sort of like uh, native in a forest looking up and seeing an airplane going over. We had light bulbs. My God, we were, you know, pretty good. Uh, so that was quite an event, but uh, that wears off pretty quick. Uh, what mi what mistakes did people make with the electricity? Not as many as you think. Very very few. You know, getting electricity is no different than the kids today with their iPod, their oh, computer, iPod. what have you. And they adapt to those things like uh, they're part of their body, for God's sakes. You know, they become their best friend. They spend many hours with them every day. Uh, we didn't get quite that entangled with light bulbs, but uh, uh, it was very simple. It wasn't a traumatic experience. Did you have any entertainment with the electricity? Any what? Entertainment. Entertainment? Yeah. yeah, my father coming around every night and say, shut the damn light bulbs off. <laughs> Sorry, Kev. <laughs> <laughs> I could just see it. Uh, <laughs> was he more worried about the water or the electricity? Uh, well, we didn't have water. Oh, that came after like That came later. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I guess it would be. Yeah. Right. No, we didn't get water right away. That was a whole different thing. They had to bring water in, bring septic lines in, water in. That all came much later. Other than that, did you have any entertainment? Other than that? Radio. Uh, yeah, yeah. We had a uh, radio, and uh, trying to think of who was on here. Lou Abner, Lou Costello, Lou, mm -hmm. Lou Costello was one of them. And uh, oh, there was a lot of old timers that were real good. I don't know how many of your teachers would remember them, but uh, our good times were outside, to tell you the truth. And we all spent all day outside. And uh, at night you came in and you, you read J's and, and you went to bed. Well, there's no lights on, so you went to bed. Uh, does that answer your question there? Or no? I don't yeah. think I answered that fully. That's good.